welcome back. It's Mother's Day. So Eric is gonna be in Denver for most of the day hanging out with his mom. I have the house to myself, so I thought, why not be as productive as possible? I'm gonna deep clean the house. I That's why there's a bunch of mess behind me. I emptied out all of my drawers and I'm going to reorganize them and probably do a little bit of pantry reorganization, vacuum everything. I'm not a naturally very tidy person, so I find that, I don't know, once a month I kind of have to go through and just deep clean my entire house to keep things manageable. So after that, I thought I'd do a workout. Maybe I'll try to film some of that depending on how busy the gym is. Do a little bit of grocery shopping for the week, so I'll show you that. And yeah, I just thought I would bring you along for my productive day. Maybe it'll keep me accountable so I don't just end up, you know, chilling all day. So I really like to have vlogs playing in the background anytime I'm cleaning or sometimes when I'm cooking. And I'm really a sucker for anything that makes me nostalgic. So I've been watching old like 2015, 2016 Nikki Blackadder vlogs. If you're not familiar with her, she, well, she's more of a lifestyle vlogger now. So I'm not super caught up with her videos currently. But back, back then, she was a fitness vlogger influencer right around the time when I was first getting into fitness so her vlogs make me very nostalgic so I just have those kind of like auto playing in the background while I'm cleaning also I just got these leggings in the mail I have been using like Poshmark and Depop and those if you have any other thrifting apps that you like and recommend let me know I, had, I downloaded ThreadUp I don't really like it um, but I got these secondhand Gymshark Flex leggings from Depop. I really like them. They're like my favorite cut of leggings and I'm kind of like hunting for more colors on those apps too. So here's a little before of our bedroom mess wardrobe situation. <laughs> taking a break from the cleaning it's going well just a little overwhelming so I'm gonna take a couple of hours off do other stuff and then resume later because I really do want to get it done but I wanted to make a it's actually a very late breakfast I'm kind of behind on my food today I made a scramble with some sauteed spinach and mushrooms and just egg I topped it with some spicy pico de gallo I have avocado some Dave's killer bread toasted with some of the country crock olive oil vegan butter and then I topped those two things with everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's so good and then I have some coffee here I keep meaning <laughs> to make coffee ice cubes or to make iced coffee and I forgot to so I ended up just pouring a hot coffee over ice so it's probably a little watery but I added some sugar and a little bit of the actually a lot of bit of the silk half and half my favorite coffee creamer um mm, still really good though this is decaf because i want to take pre-workout before my workout and i don't like to take too much caffeine in one day so we got decaf coffee and then i'll take some caffeinated pre-workout later i'm so hungry Honestly, the only thing I've eaten today has been a golden Oreo. And then I also had half of, I still have the container here because I'm a, a trash person. <laughs> um, I had half of one of these Orgain plant protein shakes. I started drinking yesterday and then I got full so I didn't finish it and just polished off the rest of it. So probably about 10 grams of protein in there. These are good for on the go. I digress. I'm gonna eat this. I feel like I always have to eat a little bit of every meal on camera. So good. I love Just Egg. <laughs> I could eat it every day. I would love to see them start selling larger cartons of their product because I would definitely buy that. We drove down to Boulder yesterday and we met up with some friends um, at a place where we could get drinks and some food outdoors. It's really nice. And yeah, we got vaccinated, our second dose of the vaccine. We got the Moderna one uh, last Wednesday. And that evening I felt like 
terrible. I talked about this on my Instagram stories, but I had really, really bad chills. I was in like layers and layers of clothing and under three blankets and I could not get warm. And then like I woke up just like sweating, the worst night sweats ever. Next day I felt just like a little fatigued, didn't have much of an appetite, um, but not terrible. And then the following day I was completely back to normal. We went to the gym and it was great. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store. Uh, cleaning the house took 10 times longer than I expected. I'm glad I did it, glad I knocked it out, but was not able to do all of the things that I had planned to do today. So I'll probably end up going to the gym like later tonight, maybe even after dinner with Eric. It's a little after five, he should actually be home any, any moment now. Um, I ran up to Sprouts, I got ingredients for dinner tonight. I'm gonna be making like soy curl carne asada tacos. I shared the recipe. Uh, maybe back in January. I'll link that video down below and I'll write the recipe out as well. So I'm going to try to get the soy curls marinating. And then I also just picked up some other stuff that I really didn't need from Sprouts because that's just how it goes. So I figured I'd share a quick grocery haul with you. This is like the biggest cauliflower I've ever seen, like way bigger than my head. Um, but we love roasted cauliflower. The other week we tried a whole roasted cauliflower. I like the recipe I used down below. It's super simple and it was really, really delicious. But love cauliflower tacos and honestly just eating roasted cauliflower on its own as a snack. Peppers were on sale. Got some limes for the carne asada marinade. This orange is also for that marinade. Red onion. We eat a ton of broccoli, so I got more of that. We got some fresh cilantro for the tacos tonight as well. We love sauteing zucchini and mushrooms, just as a side for any of our meals. Um, but the zucchini was looking kind of puny and shriveled, so I got summer squash instead. Picked up some fresh strawberries. They smell so good. But they're really ripe. I got these because I wanted to slice them up and serve them on top of these protein pancakes that I got from Kodiak Cakes. Um, I tried them last year, they actually sent me some, and I haven't had them since, because I haven't been able to find them in stores, but Sprouts near me at least now carries them. I like these, and I also like the Birch Benders plant protein pancakes, pretty much interchangeable for me. I buy one or two blocks of tofu pretty much every time I go to the store, so I got this uh, super firm tofu. Lots and lots of beans. I got chickpeas because I want to try making a chickpea blondie recipe. I might make that later tonight. Some black beans. I I was making like beans from dry in my Instant Pot back in San Diego and I just haven't picked back up making my own staples lately. I really should because it's, you know, a little bit cheaper, but I've just been kind of lazy. I got some fat-free refried beans. I got a packet of taco seasoning and then I also saw that the brand Siete which makes, uh, they make um, like grain-free tortilla chips that I really, really like, and they have them in a bunch of vegan flavors, but they make a spicy taco seasoning as well, and it has like, nutritional yeast in there, so I was just kind of curious to try this. We love these uh, Mission Carb Balance tortillas. They're really tasty and squishy. Then I thought I would try out the chickpea rotini by Barilla. I, you know, I haven't really found any sort of like bean-based protein pasta that I really, really love, but I figured I might as well try this because it never hurts to sneak in some extra protein. I'm thinking I might make like um, the pasta salad with this. Okay, <laughs> and then here's the things I didn't really need. Fishless fillets by Gardein. I feel like Gardein is almost always on sale at Sprouts, so I picked up some of these. I really like making like fish tacos with these, making a cabbage slaw. Um, benevolent bacon also on sale and uh, more just egg because <laughs> I love it. I think that is everything that I got. Yes. So I'm going to put everything away. Oh, I also got these um, Follow Your Heart. Also, Follow Your Heart is rebranding and I think it's super cute. So they have feta crumbles and I don't know. I really like these. I don't know if they taste exactly like feta, but I figured that I would sprinkle some on top of my tacos tonight. I thought that would be good. So I'm gonna put this away, and then I'm gonna really quickly throw together the uh, carne asada marinade, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so for the soy curls, first off, if you guys were around last year <laughs> during the quarantine, I believe, maybe a little before, I bought like a huge box of soy curls directly from the Butler website. And we still have some. These are the very last of them. 
So I think I'm going to polish them off today. Maybe have a little bit of leftover for tomorrow and the next day. I'm just hoping they're not like um, stale or anything or like taste like plastic because we haven't used these in a while. I'm going to start my electric kettle boiling and rehydrate these. I did just order more from the Butler website. I am going to order them in the bags from now on because number one, you know, I just, we didn't go through them as quickly as we thought we would. And also, I noticed that the, the huge box, there's a lot of like soy curl dust at the bottom, like the bottom here, just because there's so much in the box, kind of like crumbles. And there's a lot of product. I guess I could use the dust as like taco crumbles or something, but I guess we're going in with all of it. <laughs> okay. Eric is back, and he's gonna do also a mini food haul. Vegan haul, let's go! Explain though. <laughs> um, my mom buys a lot of stuff, and she's like trying to go vegan, but so she tr so she buys a lot of stuff, and sometimes just doesn't really like it, which is understandable. So she just pawns stuff off to us all the time. I've gotten really good at saying no to a lot of things. But there are actually things I wanted this time. You know how moms are, right? Uh, so let's break it down. We have this Celebrate Health Vegan Mayo. Have you heard of this? I've never seen that anywhere. Did okay. she say where she found it? Uh, no, but the tag says Home Goods. Oh. <laughs> Which, if you know my mom, is not surprising. So we're gonna try this. Hopefully, it's good. She didn't really like it, but I don't think she likes mayo that much in general. Mm -hmm. Who knows? We'll probably like it. We got these corn vegan meatless buffalo dippers. We've had these. I don't know if I've had those. I haven't bought corn in a long time. Well, corn used to just be vegetarian and not vegan. So when I was vegetarian, I used to eat it a lot. And then I went vegan and I was like, what? I can't eat these. They're so good. Mm -hmm. So now they make a few vegan products. So we'll try these. We have the Simple Truth brand non-dairy cheddar style shreds. I have not. I got to make sure I don't cut my head off. <laughs> Uh, the camera is set for Sarah, not me. So we'll try these. You haven't had them, you said? No. Okay. Should we smell them? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've heard anything about them either. Good or bad? I mean, I just, just love, you know, Vi Life so much that I. it takes a lot to get me to deviate. It smells like vegan cheddar. Okay. It, it smells, though, kind of like day I used to smell. Yeah. Which is not. You know, the best. It just tastes like beef and cheese. Yeah, okay. It's really fine. Let's see how it melts. That's the real test. Mm -hmm. We have some dry roasted edamame with sea salt, which is just a nice healthy snack. So I was down for that. We got some Trader Joe's frozen raspberries and strawberries. I don't know why there's so many. Like these are just, they're not opened. So now I have them, I guess. Yeah. And then, thank you. And then these, I think these are just, oh, they're grilled vegetable organic ravioli. She said they were bland. I'm eating some of these right now. Uh, go for it. I'm starving. Yeah. I'll heat these up and I'll give you a review. I'll just mix everything together in a bowl with the mayo as a sauce, and then I'll report back. <laughs> okay. So, soaked our soy curls, and then I used a nut milk bag to wring out as much of the extra water as possible, just so that they will absorb the marinade. Then I prepped all the marinade ingredients, in the last video where I showed this recipe, I just kind of chopped everything up and mixed it together, but I'm gonna try blending it and making a smooth marinade this time. So this is fresh cilantro. This is two jalapenos and I took the seeds out of one of them, so hopefully it's not too spicy. I have the juice of a lime, the juice from that orange. I actually have a ton of garlic here, way more than the recipe calls for. And then I have some cumin, maybe a little extra, and then some apple cider vinegar. So the recipe as I wrote it calls for a quarter cup of soy sauce, but I'm actually going to cut it down and instead try substituting in some of this beef bouillon cube. I'll show you. I've shown these in a lot of videos, that the Edward and Sons Not Beef Cubes. I find these 
at Sprouts. You can buy them online too. But I'm going to substitute in some of this for some of the soy sauce, about half of it. And hopefully it makes it taste a little bit meatier. And I'm just going to blend everything together. Smells really good. I feel like you could put this on any protein too. Be good for tofu. I'm just gonna dump it in. Ideally, I would have made this several hours ago or even last night and let it marinate, but kind of just decided today I wanted to do this. I think it'll be fine though. I'm going to try to see if I need to add more salt. Mmm. It's spicy though. Ooh. It's good though but spicy. I do think I'm actually going to add a little bit more soy sauce. I only have low sodium, reduced sodium soy sauce right now, so that's probably why. I'm going to cover it up, throw it in the fridge, let it marinate. I think we're going to hang out for a little while and then go to the gym, and then I'll cook this after we get back. I prepped all the veggies and other stuff for dinner so that we can make it as soon as we get back. But we are headed to the gym. We both kind of don't want to go, but I know that we'll feel better once we do, okay? So we're going to take pre-workout. Maybe against my better judgment, because it is late, but I'm just going to take half a scoop. How much caffeine is in half a scoop? I think 100 mils. 100 milligrams? It's so o'clock. <laughs> You'll sweat it out. Here, I'll give you a third. You a big baby. <laughs> This is my favorite and only pre-workout I use. It's by Alani New. And I just finished my first tub, which lasted me a long time. It was like the Hawaiian shaved ice flavor, which is amazing. And I'm trying out the Breezeberry one, which I think is like blue raz, I assume. Yes, there's a literal blue raspberry on there. Mmm. <laughs> it's so delicious. It really is good. I never take a full scoop because it has the, um, I think it's beta alanine that makes your skin kind of itchy and tingly, which some people like. I don't really like it, it makes me anxious, so I find that just taking like a third to a half a scoop, I don't get that problem, but it does get me lit. <laughs> most, of it, most of it was not dissolved in the bottom. Yowza! All right, let's go. Typically, I like to cook the soy curls in my cast iron pan, get them nice and browned, but when I got back from the gym, I was in such a hurry to eat that I turned on the oven, I threw them in there at about 425 degrees, and I let them cook while I took a shower just to get a head start on things. Then I came back and I assembled my tacos. I used two of those carb balanced tortillas, lots and lots of the baked soy curls, some mashed ripe avocado with some salt, and then a ton of spicy pico de gallo. This is like my new favorite thing to put on pretty much everything savory. And then I also sprinkled on some of those follow your heart feta crumbles. And I had originally planned to saute all the veggies in a pan just with a little bit of oil, but I ended up tossing them with some olive oil and also roasting them alongside the soy curls. So I served those on the side and that was dinner. Okay, so you may have noticed I've only eaten two meals this day and I was very behind in my macros, which I have been tracking lately. So just to bring up my totals, I made a quick protein smoothie. This is one I've really been enjoying. It's kind of like a copy of one of the smoothies I got from Nectar, which is like a juice and smoothie bar. We went there after we got our second doses and I ordered their almond butter health nut smoothie and I loved it so much and I wanted to find a way to make my own. So. This is pretty close to that. I used almond milk, a frozen banana, some of my favorite almond butter. It's the raw crunchy almond butter from Trader Joe's. Then I used a scoop of the vanilla Ritual Protein by Vivo Life, and I do have a discount code for them, so I'll link it down below if you are interested. I threw in an extra cube of ice as well, blended it till it was smooth, and then I added in some of these unsweetened cacao chips. And then I just pulsed those a few times, so it was kind of like the texture of a java chip frappuccino, if you've ever had one of those. It was really good, and I just rounded out the night with that. 